Hey, buddy, it's Invicta. It's time to lead and run near the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Thursday is going off to a good start. We're waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes as we're inching ever closer towards the TM Trainer Run, which I'm looking forward to. And uh, hopefully I don't have to pause the recordings today. I don't have anything expected coming up. So here's the hoping. Here's your theme of the day slash uh, kind of artwork of the day. It's, it's hard to tell because like, I don't know if this was submitted as like the official one or not. Hopefully I'm not like spoiling this one, but shout out to big bandicoot five, 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 seven title three was just watching, just love watching every episode and can't get enough. And clearly they're working on some pretty amazing artwork here. Absolutely love it. I do love the fact that like we have like, there's a trash can there with, with a uh, fortune cookie and uh, it's, it's crying on the inside and also a little sissy. It, this is one you want to go check out on this Invicta subreddit. Again, apologies, big bandicoot. I hope I'm not ruining it for you, but I don't know. I mean, you posted it on the subreddit, so I assume that you were okay with people seeing it. So I can't wait to see it like fully done. Thank you very much. See, today's going to be one, one PNG, uh, Papa Kilo Delta eight. Oh, we've got the, oh, okay. 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 Now hang on now. Uh, we've got the, let's see. The crystal ball, which of course gives us mapping. I think I want to use. I'm going to use this now for the Seraphim and also to get into the curse room for half price. The Seraphim is Seraphim is kind of nice because obviously we get a little bit of extra DPS here for like a solid minute. And on top of that, we also get flying. So we want to use this to the best of our ability, the reverse devil card that is. Uh, and then also, you know, I don't think we're going to make it to the boss on time. But yeah, that's that's a little little unknown fact about the reverse devil card is that you can you can actually get Seraphim out of it. I mean, it's not you can. You always get Seraphim whenever you use it. Um, I'm going to see if we can clear the rest of this floor. Nope, it's over. Okay. Uh, what I was going to say is I'm going to try to clear the rest of this floor, go back and get that tower card so we can then uh, use the tower card to insta-dunk the boss. Unless if it's Haunt, of course, then it's, you know, all bets are off. Uh, we could also decide if we wanted to, we can use a bomb or that tower card to get into the secret room. So, yeah, we're starting off with 3 HP here, which is good. Our damage is not great. Our tears rate is also not great. Our movement speed is good. And our shot speed, of course, is going to be nice because we're starting off with the Magic 8 Ball. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it, I think that what's cool about a lot of the reverse cards in Repentance, and this is something that, you know, I, I, I don't think we've talked about a whole lot, um, they really open up a new dynamic for the game, um, giving giving like secondary abilities, giving yourself like you know the ability to have like a really good powerful shield to deflect uh, to deflect projectiles, or giving you the Bible effect, or dropping all your items and creating item pedestals. Like that, those are the kind of that's the kind of stuff that I really enjoy in Repentance. Thinking outside the box and just having having wacky, crazy opportunities like that to come in into Isaac is is great, um, and I I want to see more of that. Um, and I think that, you know, starting off with cards that just, that give you like this very, very niche, but statistical edge in certain situations is very, very nice. And it's something that like, I, I would like to see more of in Isaac. And, uh, we are going to get a blue cap here, which is going to give us an HP upgrade. Definitely want to go back and go into the secret room. And of course we're going to hold off on using the crystal ball for the next floor. So we can maybe get a soul heart and also get full mapping. As we go into the secret room. So, yeah, overall, very good start. We're, uh, I mean, our tears rate definitely got helped out a lot. Yeah, it's not worth the key. And here we are on February 1st, you know? It's, it's like, it's one of those times where it's just like, you know, it's, we're, we're... We're, we're off and running in the new year already. You know, it's we're on month two of the new year. So let's not lose this soul heart. How about that? We also get a planetarium, thanks largely in part to us having the Magic 8 Ball, which increases your planetarium chance by 15%. And it uh, looks like we just got lucky. So we've been getting, we've been getting quite a few planetariums lately. Um, as long as none of the trites are in super jumping range right now, I'm not going to worry about taking them out. This one got a little bit too close for comfort. That one, this one can definitely super jump, so we've got to be careful. Whenever you see them jump in, in place like that, that means that they're trying to line up their they're trying to line up their big jump. So it's they're not always going to do it, but if you see a trite or any oh nice or any uh, any variation of the of the trites out there, um, and you see them just jump in place like that, like they just up they just jump up and down, they are lining you up. 
So don't stand still for that. Just wait for them to land on the ground and then just, you know, move accordingly. So get Uranus as well, which is a fantastic item. Absolutely love the freezing effect. And it's just like we had in the uh, in the Icicle Baby uh, run not that long ago where, you know, it works a little bit like Dark Souls where you have to kind of build up the freezing tolerance or I guess the freezing intolerance of a uh, of a mob before they'll actually freeze and then it will execute them in, like just immediately, which is real nice. Answer is, a, is a, just an absolutely massive item for us. It's going to give us the wafer effect whenever we take damage in a room after initially dealing damage. And then on top of that, it stays for the rest of the room and it gives us essentially what is double HP for the entire end game, which is really, really, really strong. So I hate cancer in real life, but cancer in the game is always good. Uh, we could use the crystal ball one more time for maybe a soul heart, but I think I'd rather w just save it for mapping. Obviously, having full mapping on every single floor is going to be hugely, hugely important uh, for us to navigate away from rooms that we don't want to go into and uh, unnecessary rooms as well. What are you doing here, buddy? Yish was kind of kind of bugging out a little bit. But this is a very powerful start. We've got mapping. We've got a good tier effect. We've got good damage. And, uh, you know, a decent amount of, of starting pickup items anyway or, or consumables. So it's a solid base for a, for a really strong run here. Let's go up against Black Pin. You gotta be careful of the uh, the Twirly Bird. Twirly Bird attacks from by God. By God. More hitting that to do it. I knew that we were going to we were going to eventually just back into one of those shots. Uh, I mean, a frozen a frozen knife is pretty good with Uranus. I will say that. Get mom's knife here. And there's actually no reason for us to go into the secret room or really even the curse room here. We'll just head on down. First, the maze. We don't care about that. Um, we do get the... I mean, the frozen, the frozen mom's knife, it, it, it's going to activate pretty much instantaneously. You see here, it cancels out all the death rattles too, and that's what's so great about it. Um, is that, you know, the instant activation of freezing will allow you to not only crowd control pretty much instant, instantly, uh, but it also cancels out all the nasty stuff that you normally, or maybe me, that I normally get hit by. So you're seeing that. I mean, it's just, it's just that good. Like, it's... It's a frozen blade of, of just death. And I gotta remember that we didn't actually go into the secret room. We got cursed and mazed out of there, so. You can use the frozen bodies there as a little bit of projectile projectile blocker. I like the pinking shears. I don't like them in this spot. Okay, well. But again, you see that the I mean it just it cancels out the the death rattle. It's just that good. Unless of course you miss, and then you know. Okay, let's stop. Let's stop taking this this stupid damage here. We we've, we've got plenty of, of damage to go around here. We don't need to be trying to do some fancy schmancy melee stuff. The reverse sun card as well, which is gonna give us flying as well as uh spectral tears. I guess we can use it now. Now what's cool about having the wafer effect and the cancer item is that we basically we will always have double the amount of health whenever we play sacrifice rooms so there's really no excuse at all not to play sac rooms here i mean the and the frozen the frozen mom's knife is just cutting it's cutting through everything like a cold knife through the hot butter i don't i don't know where i was supposed to go with that there's some kind of reverse like euphemism there and it just or not euphemism but uh analogy there but didn't, didn't quite work out down goes pestilence no big deal at all we are going to get an orbital okay so what we want to do is definitely play the sack room here um every single heart that we get including random soul hearts like this one right here is, is worth two taps essentially um this is now that being said, the only caveat there is that we have to stay inside of the room. So if we do get teleported, it's going to reset the... Uh, it is going to... Wow. It's going to reset the bonus that we get. The um, the wafer bonus. 
We end up getting card reading as well, which is just fantastic. I mean, if anything, this allows us to fly through this run and then get a second run in, or maybe a greed run. We'll see. We'll see. I've been seeing some pushback on the greed runs lately. Some people like them, some people don't like them. That's understandable. You're not going to be able to please everybody. They see here, we're only getting charged half of a, of a soul heart here for these taps, despite us hitting a sacrifice room. Redemption, as always. And yes, I know that redemption redemption shows up because you've already previously taken a devil deal. I don't care about taking damage there. And we get soul hearts, so there we go. And as long as we fill that uh, that bone heart back... Actually, no, you know what? It doesn't matter if we fill the, the bone heart or not because we'll we'll still have that heart container. If we lose the bone heart and then the sun the reverse sun card goes away, then we actually lose that heart container. So filling it doesn't matter, but it's always good just to fill it anyway. I mean, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Big nothing burger of an item there, and okay. Well, um, I mean, if we're going to have kind of like this soft level skip on every level with uh, with um, hard reading, then we might as well have double the knives, right? Like, let, let's just get let's just get binge eater on this run too. Let's just make this the most like hated run in the mosh pit. So far, we have three items that some people in the mosh pit really, truly despise. And I think y'all need to get over yourselves a little bit. But also, this is kind of funny that everything is compounding into a <laughs> into a, a most hated run situation. Hey, look, I don't don't ask me. Don't ask me. People people hate they love to hate good items. Yellow's great. Mom's knife's great. Card reading's great. Binge eater's great. You bet your bottom dollar, if I get a chance to get binge eater, I'm gonna. You see here that Jello just basically extends the range of your knife, essentially. And, uh, you know, does Jello damage. I mean... Almost got me, Ed. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take the left hand, why not? You can afford to, afford to have a little bit of fun here. No fun in an Isaac run. Pfft. Someone, someone, stop me! Getting out of control now. Rune bag is rune bad, but I guess I'll take it. We didn't have to go in here. I could have just gone back through the secret room, but I was hoping. One time. One time. Get stuck on the mushroom. Oh, that, that fly was, like, sparkly there. So it's definitely all systems go here on this run. Um, we I would like to get more damage. Our damage is good. Don't get me wrong. Our damage is good, but I'd like to get a little bit more. The red portal. Straight to, straight to the boss. I need to be careful of that because if if we're gonna keep Jello, we need to make sure that we have a full charge on Jello before I do that. It's me getting a little bit too excited, and also if you leave, if you leave in the card reading room before you take the portal, it goes away. So, yeah. HP upgrade. Again, you see here we don't have to worry about any of the death rattles at all, which. I'm going to keep emphasizing is an amazing feature about having uh, Uranus. Guts, they're not able to split. I think a little bit low on bombs here. I didn't. You kind of wish that we still had our mapping, not going to lie. Saw that one trying to blow up early, knocking into us. I saw that. The guys are going to clear any curses that we have and also give us a soul heart. I 
mean, this frozen... This frozen knife is just, like, it's so good to play with. How you escape that damage. It's either that the... It doesn't actually count towards the... Uh, it doesn't count towards a death. So we just try to use that reverse uh, Book of the Dead card there. Reverse death card. And we didn't actually gain anything despite killing two things in that room. And that's because whenever you free something, their death rattle doesn't go off, so the game doesn't actually register them as a death, which is really, really strange, but that's just how, that's just how it be. I'll let, I'll let Jello take care of everything here. Thank you very much, Jello. There you go. All right. Uh, Shoop would be nice, but we're not... We're, we don't need... We don't need Shoop. We got Jello. Jello gives you much more damage and much more flexibility. Right now, we're just kind of looking for our item room and shop. Yeah, could get an extra extra trinket slot. I'm thinking to pass on that, though. Oh, maybe we'd get the 9 volt or, like, the uh, battery or something. Halitosis is kind of whatever. We only paid three cents for that bomb. It would have been a nice little bonus had we gotten a soul heart there, but nah. We got bounced all the way out of the curse room. What the heck, dude? I pretty much have to. Cubby's collar. Magic skin is super magic bad. We had the if we had the school bag, honestly, it'd be nice. But like I also would have held on to uh I would have held on to the um Crystal Ball had we had school bag. Soul of Azazel, we don't really care about. Alright, so good floor. And we do have a full charge for Jello. Now the thing is though, is we don't have a way of getting out of the mom fight. So if we get a red portal, I can't really take it. Um and I'm saving the Degaiser in case it tries to curse to blind us. Much as I want to, I can't. There's no justification. Yeah, it's a funny game. There's no justification for, for straight up just skipping this floor um, that I can come up with. We're going to make boss rush because we have so much damage. Surprised that, that bone got around the uh, the frozen body that was right next to it. Okay, the batteries the batteries great. I am gonna bomb the donation machine because basically we've been we've been it's a little bit too full. That's a weird thing to say, but it's a little bit too full. Grab a bomb, bomba. We can do this. Yeah, we can definitely do this. Remember, we have the wafer effect, so that's just that's a big. It does just doesn't matter. It doesn't affect us in any way. Um, unless, of course, there's a sack room on this floor, which there might be, but we'll never find it. All right, so we have double jello for boss rush. I mean, we're going to have double jello anyway because of the, the way that the energy recharges, but boss rush is going to be super dead. <laughs> and we even find the fool card here, so I don't even have to do it, but I'm going to anyway. I think that holding on to the Degas rune is just more valuable. And yes, we could still take the Fool card and, and dip on out of there while still coming back and getting the Degas rune, but I kind of want to do boss rush because of, you know, double jello. Well, it's going to be more than double jello. You get to see the strength of jello in full view. And this is all with, like, bad damage, too. Like, we're still doing all of this with 3.31 damage. We're doing good, but not that good. Lost soul, buddy. Check him out now. He's going to die right about now. Can't tell if that's bloat. Uh, yeah, there's bloat. Okay. Yeah, the knives, the knives are only going to do more damage. Because we, the more jellos we get, the more knives we throw out, and yeah, 
it's almost instant death for everything now. Got another guy's room. Look at that. You look at that. That death instantly died. Look at the. Just look at the, the conga line of knives. Just a beam of knives. It's so good. Look at that. So much damage. Wow. Fallen actually instantly died. Ha Fallen didn't even get a chance. Yeah, that's funny, Monstro. Fallen didn't even get a chance to split. That's how fast we killed him. Here we go. You know, hearts. I mean, we can take it, I guess. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get some use out of it. Plus, Redemption is going to give us a damage upgrade anyway. Oh, baby. Look at that. We'll get a damage upgrade straight to the next boss. Trying to save Lost Soul Buddy here. Check him out now. Get a Tears Up. Very nice. Yeah, this is this is where you want red portals. They just they let you go straight to the next basically straight to the next floor. Okay, lost soul buddy. This is why we can't have nice things around you. Stapler, absolutely. Green bloat is green dead. Alright, so secret room didn't get as much. Little Samson, man. <laughs> Look, you can't blame me on that one. That's lust just randomly bouncing off of stuff. And a dead end. All right. All right. So notice how much longer it takes whenever you can't skip straight to the boss. Who would have thought that that would have made for a longer, more frustrating run? Strength card here. I mean, I guess the strength card's better than the Queen of Hearts because we're probably honestly not going to ever use that. Oh yeah, there's a mega troll bomb there. It's a funny game. It's real funny how you managed to continue just to take all of our HP away. Oh. I'll save the double charge on Jello for the boss. a little bit of help out of Rotten Baby. Would love it if we had, like, more movement speed. And also mapping. Mapping would be nice, too. Turn into a Globin, huh? There you go. Now there's some Nick to full clear right there for you most confusing map possible. There's a double Isaac circle in here. How does that happen? Well, I guess joke was on me if I if I had just bombed outside of the boss trap room. Of course, there's no way I could have had any indication that there would have been a wall on that side of the map. Instant freezing there from Jello. There goes Mama. We got ourselves Soul of Isaac and Money Goes Power. 
it is damage, but we still actually gain more damage from redemption. And that's what I'm going to take. I'm going to go back and get the strength card here. Oh, baby. Now, we don't have Jello now. By the way, yes, I know that because someone's inevitably going to point it out that money equals power gives you more damage than what you would get from Redemption. Yes, I realize that. But I'm looking for damage upgrades right now. I'm not looking for ones whenever I'm maxed out on money equals power. There we go. Down goes Stanley. I don't have a charge on Jello. I go Stanley. Somehow, inexplicably, Lost Soul Buddy's still alive. And uh, it's a Christmas miracle and a half. And we do get a red portal, too. Three soul hearts to boot, I tell you what. Okay, well, there you go on that. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> I use the strength card here for damage. And uh, even though we only have one jello, I don't think we're going to need another one. He reverse charge there? That was really weird. Uh, no, I don't need to do a victory lap for this one. I think that, I think that one was well, all well and good. But because it was so quick, let's go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna do a greed run. I'm gonna do a greed run. I feel like playing greed. That was a good run, a, a good warm up run. I'm in a greedy mood here. Second seed, second run. Sierra Delta Papa Tango Bravo three Bravo seven. We got the D1 Hizzle and really, really good stats. Um, which are going to immediately destroy by taking Skinny on Mushroom. But having that tears rate maxed is real nice. Real nice. That is not real nice, however. Because what this does effectively is it screws us out of a, an angel deal. I'm glad you got your dodging shoes on, bro. It's really cool. She's still not going to date you, though. Like... Like you don't have to show off here. You can just you can just go ahead and die because all you're doing is effectively wasting your time. We could have taken Monster Manual, which is not a bad item to get in greed, to be honest. And I'm not going to do the D100. D100 is a good way to just simply restart your entire. Uh, Restart your entire existence here. Uh, I'm going to go for the secret room and maybe get a key. Hey. And we got much more than that. Good lord, man. Cricket leg. I don't think cricket leg's going to do anything, but I'll take it. Vasca Elias is Vasca bad. And oh, man. Two hot starts for Eden. Get a frozen knife run, and now we get a really strong greed fight. Agreed start, I should say. Magician card, you're getting a lot of value out of this card right here. Right here. So because we got teleported to the devil deal, we do not get an angel deal on the next floor, regardless if we wanted one or not. Clown physics are in full form right there. I really don't need, even need to be getting this close to things. As you see here, we have a ton of range. That's because the Magician card comes with a with a range upgrade whenever you use it. So just go ahead and let it, let it do its thing. Range is one of your best and easiest advantages to take advantage of in greed. So if you find yourself having problems with greed mode, ask yourself, am I using my range effectively? Assuming that you have like enough range to use. Like, you don't have to get impatient like I do, where I just want to, like, kind of shoot the... Push the shots directly into, like, the enemies and stuff. You can just sit back and just plunk away from a safe distance. And that's what you should be doing. That's what everyone should be doing. And this goes for not only greed mode, but also, like, any other mode that you're, that you're doing, like, any run. Ask yourself, am I using my range effectively and properly? Your range is, is there. to de It's designed so you can deal damage without having to be close to damage. I'm going to take out old Dookie first because Envy is Envy is a big nothing burger of a 
the boss here. And I guess actually Cricket's leg is doing stuff. I did see those two pestilence flies come out. There's a war fly, and thankfully it's gone. And Cricket's leg, you just reminded me why I don't take you. So thank you very much for your service. I'm dismissed. Although it could work differently in greed. I don't know for sure if we if we're out of the angel deal market yet or not. Uh looks like looks like we aren't, maybe. I oh, don't know. Um seven cents for three bombs is a really good deal. Especially if none of them are troll bombs. And then yeah, half price PJ's faux shizzle. Sure. Half price booster pack. Joker card, high priestess, sun card, strength card, hero font. Yeah, this is going to give us damage, so absolutely want to take that, plus a key. And we don't care about a Joker card, to be honest. Honestly, I think the Strength card is probably going to be better. Because that gives us, like, that that gives us that, that damage bonus for the entire floor, so. <clears throat> Even got a random Soul Heart. Wow, what is going on here, man? All right. Regular HP upgrade. We'll go ahead and take it. Oh, soul buddy. Um, take him on the way out if I don't forget, which I probably will. Secret room. It could have been there. I don't know if it would have hit, though. Okay. It definitely wouldn't have hit, but one bomb for one key is actually going to save us five cents, so I'm fine with that. Continuum. Legit, I think Continuum doesn't help us in Greed because it tends to push things towards Isaac. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, there is a chance there for the Secret Room to be there, so I'm going to do the old pushy-pushy chest thing. Which was the name of my high school's best uh, cheerleading routine, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, sometimes the secret room is in between these steel blocks, sometimes not. Sometimes not. It's a wheel of fortune. I'm going to ignore. So yeah, I think we use the strength card here, or we can wait. We could technically wait, I guess, for the devil deal if we get one. But you see what I'm talking about with with range. Like, it's not a difficult concept to understand. Like, you deal damage at range. You, you don't want to... The further away... The further away that you are from danger, the less damage you're likely to take. Unless, of course, they spawn right on top of you. And using your range to your advantage is the best thing you could do to improve your... Not only your game, but also, like, your dodging skills as well. You give yourself plenty of time. Like think of it like think of it like your driving test, right? Like you're you're like you're going to be able to avoid an accident as long if you're not tailgating the next person in front of you. The more distance you have between you and like you know possible danger, the better because there's more reaction time. The same thing holds true for range and Isaac. The further the distance you are from the thing that you're trying to kill, the greater the chances that you are going to be able to dodge some kind of counterattack by them. Normally, not always, but normally. I definitely do need some damage. 3.67 after the chant after the consolation prize is nice, but we need a lot more what we got right now. HP we're solid on right now. Damage is what we need. Stupid mistake. I thought that there was a path underneath the mushrooms. I don't know why. I'm loving our tears right though. Already missing my frozen knife. The old husky. Old husky. Oh. 
Oh, those clown physics. Little cheeky little shot there, Pooter. I saw that. All right, so it's a 50-50 Angel Deal, Devil Deal now. It's not 100%. Yeah, so, so it does count against you if you get teleported into the Devil Deal on floor one in a greed fight. In a greed run, I should say. I don't know how we've managed to DPS both of these chubs down at like an exactly perfect rate. I've always kind of suspected that the game sort of balances out the two bosses HPs regardless of which ones you're hitting first. It's pretty wild that both of the chubs lived that long. But if this wasn't an indicator to tell you that we need damage, we do. Our tears rate is excellent. We just need to we just need to supplement it with good damage upgrades now. An angel deal, and that is not good damage upgrades. Jar whisk. But I'll take it over the D100. I mean, I could buy full charges, but it's Jar of Wisps, though. It's not like it's a hugely important item. Fire shot after we destroyed it, by the way. Have to go to the tape on that one. Okay. Yeah, like I, I, I really do appreciate all the extra HP we're getting game. It's solid, but like we need more. And yes, I forgot Lost Soul, buddy. Maybe I did it deliberately. Dun dun dun! dun, 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 dun. I guess we'll never know. I definitely forgot him. Um, growth hormones is great here. Look, the 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 prospect of. The, the chances of Lost Soul Buddy living through a greed floor is remote. Unless if you're already, like, super ahead. Okay, well, you know what? Didn't mean to actually buy a black candle there, but... It's not in that spot. Anyway, but we are going to get the mark, which is going to give us more damage and movement speed, which is fantastic. Damage looking real solid now. I will, t I will buy meat. And the strength pill we don't really care about anymore. Um, get a nickel one time, or a luck upgrade. That's fine. So now we've got the accompanying damage here to start really punishing the game. Surprised we didn't get rung up there. I want to. We, we need to destroy this invisible, invisible leaper here. No, but you see, we need to destroy you. Thank you. We have enough damage here to sit here and squab with the spiders that are spawning from the Black Globins. Black Globins are really nothing. They're nothing special. They're, well, we got a little Arnold there. They're nothing. They're nothing special. Super pride.
Getting a lot of champion bosses. This will be fun. Okay, that was ridiculous. Uh, I am going to take Dark Matter here for the, uh, the extra fear shots and damage, of course. We could take Book of Sin. It does give us a chance to get some good pickups here. Okay, let's do a little bit of rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah. Uh, we don't actually need mini mush now. The nine volt, the nine volt will be good if we end up getting a one volt charge or a one charge, uh, a one charge item. Judgment, temperance, tower card. Judgment. We don't really need to play the joke. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, we could play the temperance machine, which turns into a demon judgment. However. We can use that strength card if we really, really have to. And we don't. But it's empty heart and it I mean it does give us an extra heart per floor, so I guess. One thing we don't need anymore is we don't need any more red heart HP. Like that is like a fact. You see the empty heart animation there. Magic 8 Ball is going to give us some much-needed shot speed, actually. I'm going to use the Joker card now. Okay. Leech and Dark Prince's Crown is kind of just whatever. We only need one more key for the rest of this. Or no, we need two keys. Right? We're in utero. Right? right okay, yeah, two keys. So I'd rather pay six cents for two keys than 15 cents for five keys that we're not going to need. Bag of crafting is interesting and greed. Not in a good way. If we comboed it with the book of sin, it could be interesting, but we don't have the school bag, so. Ooh. Now you're talking my language. Okay. So we should be able to extend the soul of Samson for this entire wave, I hope. This is why Tainted Samson's so good in greed. Just gotta keep killing, just gotta keep killing. Just gotta keep going. Oh, we got we got through most of the waves there. Of course, we're not gonna be able to hold on to Dark Prince's crown very long because we have Leech. It's nice to have though. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Just takes one. Just takes one to pay off. All it takes is one double to pay off the Crooked Penny. I don't know why they spawn so many gurglings in here. I, don't know. I also don't know how we've only killed one. There we go. There we go. Okay. I was only one shot away from killing two of them. So that makes sense. Got the count wrong in my head. Oh, Wrath and Monstro too. Who's treating to a free meal? <laughs> Get him, Wrath. Get him. camera I've already been to the devil deal so we don't need to go in there I think mom's heart should spawn in the middle of this room, not at the top. Because when she does brimstone, it gets a little tricky to dodge up here. Because on top of dropping of dodging brimstone, you can't see anything because she's blocking you. Come on, crooked penny now. Come on. You you legit owe us now. That three in a row is is beyond. Beyond tolerance, Crooked Penny. You legit owe us now. Aquarius is kind of whatever. We get another damage upgrade here from Jesus Juice. The full heal, but we're going to save that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Isaac's tomb. But, got to roll for a full charge here. Kidney stone, we can't pass up. Trying to get that blue fire there. Lots of explosions going on in here, and I don't like any of them. Okay. Dark Matter being a bro right now. Dark Matter being an absolute bro. That fear effect is killing it. Mr. Viss, you okay? Hey, me the bomb. What a guy. That that wrath. He, you know what? He's a he's an all right dude. I like the cut of his jib. Friend finder. Mm. Of 
course, we're going to take Kidney Stone here, which is going to give us a massive damage increase. Temporarily, because of the huge amount of tears that we get out of it. Yeah, let's roll. Dude, come on. Crooked Penny, that's four in a row, bro. Four in a row, man. Now, now I'm getting irritated. Now Crooked Penny's starting to go in the, uh, you're going back in the doghouse. If you don't double something soon, like if we don't see a double on this next one, you're done. You're done for the rest of the year, Crooked Penny. You don't think I'm serious? Go ask, go ask, go ask Mr. Fortune Cookie where he, where he's at. Take a quarter. Halo is real good. Can't say no to Halo. Have a bomb. This is going to be a rough one. We don't have any overwhelming tier effect or anything that's going to help us out. The demon judgment here and roll this right now. Now, now I'm not, that's not to say that like we're not powerful, which we are. We're powerful, but we could always be more powerful. Getting a solid tier effect like Cricket's body. Jacob's Ladder, Holy Shot, I mean, anything like that, and we're, or pe even Piercing Shots, and we're going to be looking real solid against Ultra Greed. Right now, it's not a slam dunk. I don't know why. There's something about getting hit by Greed that just, that just really pisses me off. I don't know why. I think it's the way that greed looks. Okay, let's. You need to get the hell out of here. You are legit, like, irritating me. We got hit by greed way, way, way too much in this wave. We're we're getting hit by everything way too much in this wave. Pretty sure Leech has killed more things than we have. Bro, come on. Okay, that was absolute garbage. The way that we played that wave. That was horrible. The Joker card, which doesn't mean anything. Yeah, you're done. You're done, Crooked Penny. You're done. You are done. You're done for the year. Look at this. I'm on tilt now. You're done. Crooked Penny's done. Five failures in a row is not only unbelievable, but totally unacceptable. I don't know what the chances are of failing five 50-50s in a row, but they've got to be pretty amazingly small. We've lost so much HP in this on this floor. But this this Ultra Greed fight is not a guarantee, y'all. On then, Leech. And a Krampus fight. Oh boy. This is just nothing to do but just do that and 
Ooh boy. This is gonna be rough. This is this is going to be rough. Wrong time to proc kidney stone. I do not know where I am on the screen. I have no idea what just happened there. The fun part about all of that is that Leech could have healed us by getting a kill on the ad, but because Leech is just permanently attached to Greed, he's not actually doing anything for us. I mean, he's dealing damage for sure, but he's not healing us. We are going to get the win. It was a very frustrating end to a otherwise very good Greed run. You know what? Screw you, Greed Machine. You don't you don't get these two cents. I'm, ta I'm taking them with me to the grave. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that one. Hey, at least that first, uh, at least the first run was fun. I mean, the greed run would have been a lot more fun if Crooked Penny had, like, you know, done something. But, oh, Crooked Penny, you get to go on the bench for the rest of the year. So go say, yeah, no, no, I go over there. You go sit next to Fortune Cookie. Yeah, you sit right there. Right there. All right. Don't move until the end of the year. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Leave a comment down below. Your question of the episode today is how often do you use Crooked Penny and Greed? Do you take it all the time? Do you not bother with it at all? Post them in the comments down below and let me know. And as always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some pages of mine like James Moeller, Barman1988, Der Plop, and Katie Katie Bobady. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.